Hey there, what's up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the program, The Chicago Griller. Today, I am going to share a hack that is gonna be especially useful for you Q1000 and Q2000 owners. If you watched my mini review, you'll remember that one of my dislikes with this grill is that for some reason, Weber cut costs by omitting a grill thermometer on these models. However, as you can see, I've went ahead and added a grill thermometer to my Q2000. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I did that. The first step is, of course, you have to like and subscribe. Just kidding. All right, let's just go and back up a few days and I'll show you how it's actually done. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta go on Amazon and purchase this grill thermometer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert it right here into the lid. This thermometer will eventually be secured to the lid with this wing nut that you screw into the back. You'll see I marked my lid with this red dot to help me aim where I'm going to drill. Now, before I actually drill a hole in this lid, I am going to line the inside with some aluminum foil. I'm just gonna lay it on top of the grates like so, because ingesting grilled metal lid shavings doesn't sound very appetizing. The temperature probe is 3 8 of an inch, so I have my 3 8 inch drill bit, and I'm going to line it up with this red dot and gently and slowly drill into the lid. And you can see I've actually ended up a little bit lower than my red dot, but that's okay. I've also realized that some shavings are being kicked up, so I've grabbed my safety goggles and will continue drilling into this lid. Continue carefully drilling until you're all the way through. Once you've completed drilling the hole in your lid, you're just gonna take your thermometer and press it into the hole. It should be a secure and snug fit because we've exactly matched the size of the probe to the drill bit. Now grab your wing nut and screw the thermometer securely into the lid. Now all you gotta do is turn on the gas, press the ignition, and let's go find out how hot this thing actually gets. After just five minutes on high, we're already up to 400 degrees. And after 10 minutes, we are approaching 500 degrees. So it looks like this grill is running really, really well. Okay, so that was actually surprisingly very easy. That is how you can install a grill thermometer on your Weber Q1000 or Q2000 series of gas grills. It's probably the single most useful upgrade that you can make to your Weber Q. However, if you're not comfortable using power tools or don't want to void your warranty, definitely consider just spending the extra 20 US dollars up front to purchase the Q1200 or Q2200, which does have the thermometer built in, as well as a few other minor upgrades. Anyways, if you enjoyed the content on the show, definitely hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Now, whether you are a new or returning viewer to this channel, I have a lot of great recipes for this Weber Q that you could check out on my right or down in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next time. Thanks again for joining me. Bye now.